Hi everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to the channel. So today I have an appointment in Birmingham and I'm really hoping that I have time to go to the Disney store there. It's about twice as big as the Merry Hill one, which I went to, was it last week or the week before now? So I'm really hoping I get to go there. Today I'm taking this lounge fly with me, so let's go. Hi everyone, future Hannah here. So I didn't realise, I mean, I have a tiny little external microphone that I used when we went to Merry Hill Disney Store and it worked fine apart from I think it was the new emo clip. I used it again and about half of the clips from this Disney Store trip either had no audio, it was muffled and crackly or it started repeating itself. So I'll either just mute those clips if they're small or I'll do a quick voiceover. Just wanted to let you know what's going on with them. We're going into Disney, oh goodness. Thanks for waiting guys. Thank you. 12 pound pillows again. There's a lot of Toy Story items. A lot of cars. Got lots of little cars figures. Oh look, the child. Oh, I've got to look at these bits. Oh wow, oh look, it says power nap and it has the child, the child. This is 18 pounds and then it looks like there's some matching bottles. Oh my goodness, these are so soft. These are 22 pounds. Oh, these are cute. Oh, it's the child, little plush. There's a clock as well, and there's different notepads. There's a little compact mirror. Check that price, that's $12.95. And then there's a tote bag, and there's a plush throw, which is £20. And you have some more adult items. So there's some up merchandise. There is a pencil holder, which looks like the up house. This is, this is £21. That's actually really cute. They've got a lot of balloons on the top. There's this there's t-shirt. This, this is £16. Then you've got some... Oh, got a squish through. Xavier Institute for X-Men. That's £35. <laughs> I just feel that. That feels like a really warm one, so this is probably like a thick one that would keep you really warm. So here we have a wall of plushies. Gotta love Disney plush. This one is Sorcerer Mickey. It says he lights up. Um, I can't see any lights. It could either be the battery or because I'm actually stood in the light. But he's for the 80th anniversary of Fantasia. He's really cute. And then we have Rainbow Mickey. He is £21. These look like they could be for Valentine's Day, a little Mickey and Minnie, but look at this wall of plush. There's a huge display of pop vinyls here. There's a heck of a lot of them actually. And I think my favourite is Sorcerer Mickey. He, he's in like a, a proper box. Um, he is $14.99. And then to compare, there is this Sorcerer Mickey, who is £10.99 in a, like a harder outer box. So here we have a selection of the mugs that they have, including this amazing Thanos Infinity Gauntlet mug. This one is £15. It is really, really heavy, actually. It's a very beautiful mug, kind of shimmers in the light a bit. So that's the inside. I'm just going to put that down before I drop it. And then over here, we have some of the Disney ears that they have. Oh my goodness, these are 
amazing. They have the Big Thunder Mountain ears! Oh, it's stuck. Hold on. I wasn't, I didn't get these online. If you've seen my other videos, you'll see I got the backpack for this. Oh, heck. They have them. How much are these? Let me just quickly check. They, these ones are 30 pounds. These are mine. These are mine. Oh my goodness. These ones. Oh no. How many ears is it acceptable to buy in one trip? I want the silver one. I want this one. I want this one. I mean, that one's nice, but I mean, come on. Sequins in glitter. They are amazing. Let me just check the price on this one, actually. Okay. Okay. This purple one is £24. And then this is a Tower of Terror one. That is £28. £28. This one, 24 again. And then also £24. So there are more ears on the other side, like this castle pair of ears. These are really pretty. Then you've got this polka dot pair of ears, which is a bit more simple. Still just as pretty. And then you have this little mermaid pair. I have a similar pair at home. They're not fully sequins. Um, they don't flip over like sequins would, but this pair is really beautiful as well. So there's a lot of child items over here. I showed some of these in the Merry Hill store, so I'm not going to try and show the same things. Oh, I've just noticed this towel is on sale. It was 15 and now it's 10. Now it's so here we have some of the Disney pet items. So there's these doggy pyjamas. If you've seen previous videos, you'll know that I already have these. These are £22. They're really, really soft and it's a long sleeve top with shorts. So they're really nice. Then there's this Lady and the Tramp bag, which is quite pretty. Just a nice cream bag. Then we have this cat journal. I actually have the dog version. So it's like a notepad, different sticky notes inside. And that one's £10. Then we have this little cat bowl. Now, I do have two cats, so I might have to get them this just to put some little treats in there. This does seem like a very nice little bowl. Then there's this dog bowl. It said, I love my food and my human. Now, I'm not going to pick this up because they seem to have balanced it very well, so I'm going to leave that one alone. So next up, we have this wall of Nuemo. They have more than the Merry Hill store did. For example, the Winnie the Pooh characters. They have Pooh Bear, Eeyore and Piglet. They don't have Tigger. I definitely would have, got a, have gotten Tigger if they had him. But they're really, really cute. And then just below them are the outfits. They currently have the Ahsoka outfit and a couple of spirit jerseys. Next, we have some of the Christmas ornaments that they have. They have quite a good selection of different ornaments, actually, and some different characters. So you've got Elsa just there. There's a little mini ear headband. There's Oswald. For more Christmas items around this side, there's this really big Santa Mickey bauble for £20. There's a light-up figure. There's also this adorable little plate that says Santa's Little Helpers. Now, I am going to buy this because I didn't want to risk buying it online. And it has Chip and Dale on the front, so I'm definitely getting this. They have this beautiful Fantasia bag. I can't quite see the label. Is that £26? 20... That's really beautiful. Oh, this frozen notebook, it has Spirit Elsa, and then this one has little Bruni. They are so cute. So another quick item just before we pay is this beautiful limited edition uh, Midnight Masquerade series pin set. It was 26 and now it's £28.20. And this one looks like it's themed after Maleficent. Does anybody else wish that they could have these sparkly Disney tiles in their bathroom? I mean, they kind of match my sparkly shoes. I'd just love to have these in my bathroom. So I'm back home now. I know this video has been smaller than the Merry Hill video, partially because I didn't want to kind of go over everything that we've already seen in Merry Hill. So I was trying to just stick to the newer or different items. Um, and partially because Birmingham was so busy. I mean, if I would have chosen a time when I would have gone to the Ballroom Disney store. It would either have been kind of midweek as soon as they open or when they close. I mean, I had an appointment in Birmingham anyway. 
where I thought it would be a good idea to go to the Disney store. Um, it was so busy. Oh my goodness. Well, inside the store was okay. That was fine because they limit how many are going in. So one goes in, one goes out, one goes in, one goes out, etc. But as soon as you kind of left the Disney store, the rest of the ball ring was just packed. So I didn't film anything else. I didn't even attempt Primark because there was a huge queue outside Primark. I did really quickly check and I just kind of turned around and thought, nope, I'm going home. So I'm going to show you what we've got. The first item is a Christmas item. All wrapped up nicely. Now I know I said I was going to buy that tiny cat plate. Um, I didn't get it in the end because when we give our cats treats, we tend to stick with plates. I mean, this one doesn't have one, but that they have like a non-slip thing on the bottom and that one didn't have it. because otherwise they just kind of push it along the floor. So I didn't get one at that one in the end, but I did get this Christmas plate. This was nine pounds and it's got Chip and Dale on there and it says Santa's Little Helpers. I'd seen this one online and I'm sometimes wary about buying things like this online just because, you know, it's like a proper plate. Does it say what it's made from? I don't think it says what it's made from. I wouldn't say it's China, but it's like the proper, like it's not plastic, it's breakable. So I'm so glad they had this in the store. My husband bought himself the Venom hoodie. So this is the hoodie. It starts off almost like a brown colour and then kind of ombres down into like a red. So he got this. Uh, the original price was £35 and it was reduced to £17.49. He loves Marvel and he actually really enjoyed the Venom film. So when he saw this, he thought, I'm going to get this hoodie. So he got himself that hoodie. And the best part, which I know you saw a clip of, but these Minnie Mouse main attraction Thunder Mountain ears. Now, the tag, obviously, isn't, give me a second. So the tag is the usual Minnie Mouse main attraction. If you've seen my other videos when I reviewed the July, August and September items, this is the September ears. So I now have the matching backpack and ears. So I have another pair to add to my collection. So nine of 12. I'm actually soon gonna do the October, November and December video for that as well, I need to get that done. So the tag said 30 pound. Now there's no reduction anywhere, there was no notice or sign to say that they were reduced however they were reduced i paid 20 pound 99 for these so they took well pretty much 10 pound off oh my goodness these are beautiful and they've got sequins we love sequins now shout out to nikki cast member at the boring disney store today is saturday the 23rd of april she was amazing. She was the cast member who was checking us out, as in checking out at the till. Um, and she'd said that they also had, as well as these ones, the June ears, so the Peter Pan ones. I'll pop a picture of those up. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that, that she said they just kind of had a random shipment of the June and September ears, put them out, and she said the June ones went. They just... I'm not shocked. The June ones, it's the June, June and January collection, I think are the two most sought after. So to know that they had those June ears and they were also at the £20.99, so reduced. Um, she said that somebody had called up and reserved the last five pairs that they had, so they didn't actually have any more for sale. Because um, I would have had, they're beautiful. They're like a blue, I mean, I've popped a picture up, but blue with Tinkerbell on there. I love Tinkerbell. So I would have got those as well, but I'm just so glad I've got these ears. I'm, I say I'm going to pop them on. Will this tag allow? We'll see. Oh, how did that go? The tag, never mind. So I'm so glad that I got these. I can add these to my collection. I'm going to cut this off because again, obscenely long, annoying tag. Um, so yeah, that was our trip to the boring Disney store, which I'd say it's about double the size of the Merry Hill one. And they always have better items so some of the park items some of the collection items they have so i do prefer that store it's just much further so the cat's just trying to get out um so i do prefer the boring store it's just a lot harder for us to get there so i don't go to that one very often 
but I'm really glad that we did manage to go. I'm really glad that we managed to find these ones. A shame about the June ones, but I mean, Thunder Mountain. So that was our trip. I hope you all enjoyed. Apologies again for some of the audio. I need to... Yes, I know. Yes, he apologises as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, because I was trying just like an, a little external microphone. I admit it's a cheap one that I was trying, so I do need to get a better quality one because I know I need to work on the audio. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!